Hi and welcome to Guardians of Tear. My name's Barry and today we have round two of an elimination tournament for Age of Sigmar Champions. This was held at War Games Workshop in Northampton as part of a demo day run by Play Fusion. This is a best of three matchup and it's between myself playing Order and Chris playing Chaos. So Chris has um, decided that I go first. And we're just going through setup. Okay, so I've got two Protector Primes, I've got a Knight Heraldor, and I've got Vandas Hammerhand. Chris has got a Lord of Change at the top, uh, a Chaos Champion, and two Blood Reaver Chieftains. Uh, Chris is playing quite um, like a Damage Multiplier Rush deck, so I need to control it a little bit. So Hurricane Raptor goes into play, first quest done on Protector Prime. So he can't deploy under the Blood Reaver Chieftain. Um, Blood Reaver Chieftains can complete their quests super fast, so these guys need to be controlled a little bit. Starving Fleshhound goes into play, deals itself one damage um, at the start of the turn, and then if he's got units adjacent to it, then it causes the Starving Fleshhound to rotate and do its rotation damage. Corn's chosen into play, so that's a damage multiplier card. So in two turns time, it's going to start multiplying the damage from every allied unit. So two damage from the Hurricane Raptors. So Hurricane Raptor going into play on Devandus, he completes his first quest, one damage. So Starving Fleshhound damages himself and Corn's chosen rotates. Chris decides to draw two cards, prepare himself for next turn. Two damage from the Hurricane Raptor and my other one leaves play because he's exhausted. So I need to try and control that lane again that Chris has got open. So Disruptive Liberator going in. So Chris can't deploy on that lane now. Skybolt Judicator going into play. So because it's not going to be opposite a unit, it will do seven damage when it gets round to its third corner. So Chris dealt one damage to himself from Starving Fleshhound. And now Corn's Chosen is activated. So Blood Hunt gets rid of my Disruptive Liberator, gets himself a health back. Insatiable Blood Reaver, when it goes into play, it removes units to ad adjacent to it. And uh, next turn it will deal damage and heal. So my Hurricane Raptors leave play. Skybolt Judicator will go off next turn. So Triumphant Smash on the Insatiable Blood Reaver. An Opportunity Strike, because now he's got no units left. Deals five, so I completed two quests on that Protector Prime. Corn's Chosen rotates. So unless Chris has got a unit that deals damage straight away, Corn's Chosen has been basically wasted. Insatiable Blood Reaver and another Starving Flesh Hound. Seven damage from the Skybolt Judicator, and I draw two. So next turn, Chris is going to deal me quite a lot of damage. Um, Insatiable Blood Reaver is going to go off, and so is the Starving Flesh Hound. <laughs> Three damage from the Insatiable Blood Reaver. One, two damage from the Starving Flesh Hound. And then Chris takes one damage himself from the Starving Flesh Hound. So Chris passes, draws two. So my Skybolt leaves play. I'm going to draw two because there's nothing really going on next turn. One damage to himself. Corn's chosen going in again. So two turns time. I'm going to feel that spell. Precious Flamer goes off. When that rotates, um, it does damage to me, and it cannot. Uh, when it does the damage, it cannot exceed a highlighted unit's current corner value. So on my side. So Celestial Prosecutor goes into play. 
So I'll take five damage there. If I'd have opposed it with that Celestial Prosecutor, I'd have still taken the full amount of damage because my corner that would be active for me is X. So it doesn't negate any damage. Gaze of Corn. So I'm going to take another three. And Flesh Hound goes again. So I've just taken another five. So Chris's um, deck's got a lot of burst damage. Um, so I managed to control it a little bit, but he's catching up again. Hurricane Raptor goes into play, doing one damage. Two damage because the Celestial Prosecutor completes the quest on the Protector Prime and I get Swift Judgment that deals four. It's only got five to go. Capricious Flamer deals four. It should only actually deal one because the active corner on my Hurricane Raptors is one. Furious Strike does four damage. Chris draws a card. My okay. game. Hurricane Raptors are going to deal three because of the uh, Celestial Prosecutor. Heroic Strike spins the Celestial Prosecutor dealing four and I take game one. So, managed to control the lanes and get through the damage where I needed to. So, we'll see what the Chaos player can do next turn and pull this game back around. So, here we go. Match two. Chris has decided to go first this time. Blood Reaver Chieftain goes in. I put my Protector Prime opposite because that's his, one of his main deploying units. Lord of Change and a Blood Reaver Chieftain, but Chris has forgot that I got a lay two. So, Protector Prime for me. Lord of Change for Chris. Blood Reaver Chieftain for Chris. Vandas Hammerhand and Knight Herald all. Chaos Champion finishes the lineup. I deal five. Chris takes four. So, Chris to go first. First action, Fearless Core Graphs go in. And second action does Furious Strike. So, he takes... Uh, I take six there. Okay, so I need to control these Blood Reaver Chieftains. Because that's where he's going to get his main blessings from. So Hurricane Raptor, one damage, piercing shot on Vandus. So I complete two quests, one on the Protector Prime, one on Vandus. One damage from the Corgrass. Another ferocious strike, so another four damage. Chris draws a card. Two damage from the Hurricanes. And Skybolt Judicator goes into play. He's opposite the Lord of Change, so I shall get my full seven damage if it's still there. Chris decides to draw two. I deal no damage this turn. Wait till next turn. I draw two. It's a bit of lull in the game because there's not many units turning. Gives you a chance to draw some cards. So Corn's Chosen goes into play. Lord of Change spins. Fearless Core Graphs go in. Two damage. And I can't deploy under the Night Herald door. Seven damage from the Skybolt Judicator. Celestial Prosecutor into play. So that's going to increase damage next turn. Triumphant Smash to get rid of Corn's Chosen. And hit Vandas' third quest. One damage from the Corgrass. Still can't deploy for uh, Night Herald or. Capricious Flamer goes into play. So not the best delays there. Because the Prosecutor is going to stay in play. And um, that Capricious Flame is only going to do one damage. Due to its rules. It's really good if it's unopposed. But if you put it in front of an enemy unit. Or an opponent's unit. It's not going to do a lot. Eight damage from the Skybolt Judicator. Complete the quest on Vandas and deal another six with Divine Blast. Gain two health. Chris is down to four. So just checking that Capricious Flame up. 
just checking that basically it's not going to remove that Celestial Prosecutor and um, check what damage it's going to do. So I take my chance to draw two cards. Cool Grass Leaf play. Capricious Flamer only deals one because I only have one printed in my active corner of the Celestial Prosecutor. Chris decides to pass and draw two cards. So unless Chris removes my Celestial Prosecutor, he is gonna his game's gonna end next turn anyway. I can't spin it because I'm not near the Night Herald or so I'll put a Paladin Protector into play just to give myself um, some protection and it stops the Disruptive Liberator from leaving play as well. Capricious Flamer deals one. So Insatiable Blood Reaver goes in, completes the quest on the Karas Champion and Chris gets Total Carnage. So next turn that's going to come into effect and deal a lot of damage to me. So, four damage. So, there we go. The game is over. I managed to control the lanes of the Chaos player to stop all of his damage going through. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that game. Um, next up, we'll have the final. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.